On January 8, 2024, the first U.S. lunar probe since the Apollo missions took off from Cape Canaveral in the U.S. state of Florida. The commercial mission aims to take NASA scientific equipment to the moon, as well as memorabilia and the ashes of Gene Roddenberry, the creator of the Star Trek franchise. The mission is named Peregrine, after the Peregrine Falcon, the world's fastest animal, and is part of the Artemis program's Commercial Lunar Payload Services CLPS, initiative. CLPS is a new scheme in which the space agency pays private companies to take scientific equipment to the moon. Peregrine is the initiative's first mission, carrying five NASA payloads, as well as 15 others. One of them is a small rover from Carnegie Mellon University in the United States, which could become the first American robot to circle the satellite. The probe is also carrying non-scientific cargo, such as a copy of Wikipedia, a physical coin loaded with Bitcoin and boxes of souvenirs ranging from books to photographs. Gene Roddenberry's ashes and DNA are also on board. The event, organized by Astrobotic and United Launch Alliance ULA, marks the first commercial launch towards the surface of the moon. The Peregrine probe, developed by Astrobotic, left Complex 41 of the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station and went into space on the United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket. According to the British newspaper The Guardian, the mission is considered risky since no private company has managed to land on the moon or any other celestial body before. United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket, for example, has never flown before, the team is counting on the company's 100% success record with rockets for the launch. This whole task is not easy, said Chris Colbert, CLPS program manager at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Landing on the moon is extremely difficult. We recognize that success is not guaranteed. The probe is expected to land on the moon on February 23. In a statement, NASA explains that the intention is to land on Sinus Viscositatis, a lunar region outside the hardened lava of the Grutheisen domes near the side of the moon. The Earth has similar natural structures, which are formed from large volumes of water. The similarity makes scientists believe that the site may contain evidence of water on the moon, 